Yeah. This is how the character can look at different locations while moving. And he's reading the hit location of this blue line right now. So if something is in the way of this blue line, he will actually look at it right now. Okay, let's add a character aim offset to our uh, current third person example uh, blueprint in AGR Pro. So what we have at the start is just this character running around uh, without any uh, aim offset whatsoever. And now we're going to explain how to add aim offset and how to set up it. So what we need to do is go into our uh, animation graph. And in here, let's do begin play. Or you know what, actually we can just go into the component itself. And here in setup uh, and debug, we can set up some of the things that our component does. Um, if we want to leave it as is on default, it will just work like this. However, we can also change it at runtime, uh, even with multiplayer support, uh, with proper events that I will show you in a second. Just to explain all those variables, uh, first of them is the rotation method. There are four rotation methods and there is a non-rotation method. So if we set up the rotation method to none, our character will never rotate. He will, no matter what we do, keep on looking at the same uh, place, which is also useful in many uh, situations. Rotate to velocity does exactly what uh, the default uh, movement does. So it's smoothly rotating character towards the velocity uh, that he is moving right now. And how smooth the rotation is depends on this value. So if we increase it to, let's say, 720. Now our rotation is nearly instant. It's a lot faster. But we can also decrease it, let's say 240, which means that our rotation will be a lot smoother. But uh, in some situations, it could look a lot worse in, for example, when we do not have strafe walking animation set up like in here. Uh, okay, so 360 is the default and this is the rotation speed that takes one second to do a full turn of a character. Uh, absolute rotation is uh, when the rotation of the character matches the control rotation perfectly. So wherever we are turning, there's no lag of whatsoever. We are always perfectly turning towards the velocity. I mean, towards the uh, control rotation. And there is no smoothing of this. It's designed mostly for first person uh, perspective shooters. And there are two more uh, types. One is desired rotation and desired rotation angle. So desired rotation is still using the rotation speed value so this will try to strafe walk uh, and it will try to match our control rotation, but smoothly with blend. And this is perfect when you're trying to add uh, turn in place animations for a character. And the last option is the Z rotation at angle. So it's taking the rotation speed like all the others did, but it also takes those two values. So the turn start angle and turn stop tolerance. Let's increase this a little bit. So the turn start angle is the angle of the control rotation in compared to the character rotation when the character will start rotating. The second value is the difference between those two rotations which stops rotating. So if I hit play now, and I start looking around, you will see that this character is not turning in place. But once I hit 90 degrees threshold, he will start rotating until he hits 5 degree threshold and stop rotating. And as long as I am looking one of the directions, he will continue to rotate until he hits the proper threshold. However, when you are uh, moving, it doesn't matter if you hit the 90 degree threshold in this situation, he will start rotating to strafe walk where you are moving. Okay, so for the purpose of this example, we'll still continue to use the rotation to velocity. 
Uh, and let's talk about aim offset and how we're going to set up aim offset. There are uh, three types of, of aim offset. There's none, aim, and look. And they are not implemented in any way inside the animation graph except that they are exposed uh, in the aim offset here. So what you have is aim offset type and then you have the aim offset behavior. So this is the type. The type is look for our example. And the aim offset behavior is preferable shoulder. It can prefer nearest, which is the default uh, behavior of all aim offsets if you don't set up anything. So this is basically none. But then you can do the prefer left or right. How it works is that the aim offset value that is being calculated is being clamped to certain value that you specify here. And this is an absolute value. So 135 means that it's minus 135 to 135. And the easiest way to show it in action would be go here, go into event graph, and we can just uh, get this value, which is aim offset. And aim offset, the final aim offset, is a, a vector 2D. And we can split that, and we can then do a print string, and we'll print aim offset x value. And we're going to say that the duration is the delta time of our. Uh, frame so we'll just display it for one frame so we'll see always the newest version so when we start our aim offset is somewhere around five if we go this direction we'll go up to minus 120 135 and we'll stop at minus 135 and you can see that once i hit 135 the other way it goes into 135 but then i go above this threshold and goes to minus 135 once more. So uh, why this is set up like this, I'm going to show you once we set up actual aim offset on the anim graph. So uh, on anim graph, we don't have any aim offset right now. Like we don't have animations for aim offset. What you would set up is an additive aim offset that you would blend somewhere in, inside here. But what we can do, we can do, uh, we can do just aim at um, no, it's uh, look at. Yeah, so sketch our control nodes as the f are the fast pace um, IK nodes. Uh, that's one of the most useful uh, nodes on the entire anim graph. And look at is generating a bone rotation based on some values. So let's do this. Let's do bone to modify and say, let's say head. Uh, here it is. Let's say that the look at axis is Y and this is in bone space. So this is proper for the head bone. In local space, yes, look up axis. No, we don't really need this one. Look at clamp. Uh, yeah, by default, let's say, uh, let's say 45 for now. Interpolation time uh, doesn't matter because the look at is interpolating, so let's say zero. Interpolation trigger threshold zero. Okay. And then uh, we have look at target, which can be bone space. So we can just use IK bones to do look at targets. Uh, or we can specify our location. So let's bind this location to something that we already have, which is look at location. Wait, what's this? Yeah, let's just say this. Let's combine those here. Let's put it here. Compile and save. Okay, if we go back to our character, there's one more very important thing when it comes down to our M offset. Only on a player that has uh, actual camera component, uh, we can say that it is camera based uh, location. And it doesn't have to be camera, which is part of the character. It can be any camera because it's actually reading the camera rotation of the actual camera from the camera manager. 
So if you are using, for example, um, ALS character uh, camera system, it will still work. And this camera base means that uh, he will actually do a forward trace from the camera and uh, make aim offset based on that trace. So right now we are using camera based uh, aim. For our aim socket, we are using a hand R. For our look at socket, we're going to use head. And use of this socket or this socket depends on this aim offset type. So we are using look, so we're using head. So if you do compile, save, and now we hit play, you can see that the character is actually moving his head toward our aim offset like he should and we can actually see where he's looking at if we go into HR master component we hit debug true right now we'll see line traces from our aim and look uh, bones and we can see the actual place that the character is looking at okay so this is clamped to 45 it's a bit small let's make it bigger like 55 degrees anything above that could look a bit weird on the head rotation okay and you can see that we didn't specify look up axis but it's actually automatically reading the look up axis by itself so yeah this is how the character can look at different locations while moving and he's reading the hit location of this blue line right now so if something is in the way of this blue line, you will actually look at it right now. We can increase the interpolation of this IK node right here. Let's say that this is 10 and threshold is zero. So it always triggers and now it's more smooth. Okay, so this is how you set up a very basic look at um, aim offset. To do a proper uh, aim offset, we're going to set up some additional animations in our template.